Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So this weekend I have been having a little bit of a tidy up in my craft room. Um, so I have gathered some bits and pieces here. So that's scrap fabric and again I've added to my scrap paper here some bits that I found. I have got so much it's just crazy. Um, so I thought I would start making some little bits and pieces, some little embellishments and things like that, just some odds and ends, because um, I want to do another journal, sort of like a bit like my eclectic journal, but I want to do it with all the sort of like scrap fabric, um, digital papers, um, scrapbook papers that I've got, um, papers that I've made, all sorts of bits like that, just with sort of like leftovers. So the first thing I thought we would do today is make some little pockets. Now I've made these out of scrap paper. Now I've just cut them so you can make little pockets and you've got, this will just stick on your page like that. And you've got a lovely little pocket there. And then they just go out flat so you can just store them. This one I popped a little pocket in the front as well. So that would just fold on like that. And then I've made a tiny little pocket and with some little journaling cards in. These are my new ones which they're out in the in the uh, Etsy shop today. They are gorgeous, so lots of different sizes. Um, so I've just used the little ones and they work perfectly in these little pockets. Um, this one here, so I've got lots of random different papers. There's another one here, which I'm loving. So, so simple to make. So you can make them out of any style paper, any piece of paper, as long as it's not too small. They got to be sort of like, roughly sort of like square or rectangle you know enough to put pop something into so i'm going to show you how i do that so first of all we need to get some bits of paper so i've got a bundle here so i'm just going to take a few of these let's take some different pieces what do we have there we go should we just take some of these out like that but again use anything that you've got or even if you've got pieces like this, just cut them down and you can make a tiny little pocket to go onto your pocket. Um, and then these bits are just out of, I've got two big boxes of scrap fabric. So I might even make up some little bundles to pop in my Etsy shop with different papers and, and fabrics because I've just got so much. Um, I really don't know what to do with it all. Now I'm going to take my scoreboard. Now I'm going to use it upside down because I think it's a lot easier for me to use. So I'm going to take a piece of paper, a little rolly bally tool, whatever you call them. Now I'm going to just score around three edges. Now I'm going to do it a centimetre. So this is like, it's roughly like three little lines like that. So I'm just going to go down three sides like that. And then you've got that mark around it. Oh, these are my new little Fiskars scissors and they are lovely. Um, so I'm just going to just cut the corners off like that. So simple as anything. And then what we do, we just fold them in like that. And then we've got ourselves a lovely little pocket. And to do it like that, it means that you can pop a little bit more in there. It gives you a little bit more room and then you can just decorate them however you like. So let me do, let me put these ones away. Let's just do a couple more of these so we can get them all ready. Down like this. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Um, Andy and myself have been in the garden, like I said I was going to do. Um, we had a shed that we had to build, so we thought it would take a couple of hours and it actually took four and a half and my hands are so sore. This is why all my nails are all broken. So I had to chop them all off and start again. So I've got lots of cuts and nicks all over my hands, but it was fun. And as soon as we finished, it absolutely poured with rain. So we really did do that just in time. And then spent the rest of the Sunday in front of the telly because um, we were exhausted so that was a nice a nice Sunday so today and then Saturday I was tidying up my craft room um, 
but I'm going to probably regret it because I will not be able to find anything soon, I'm sure. Okay, so there are the ones that I've just made. So I've done three. I'm going to just ink around the edges. Now these are just so simple. Um, and we all have lots of bits of sort of um, scrap paper and things like that. Even if you don't want to decorate them, you can just pop them in your journals like this. Um, which are lovely or on inside of a card you could pop it if you're going to make a Christmassy one you can pop it inside of a card just a pocket and you could pop it like a little um, gift voucher or something in it which would be quite nice wouldn't it made with some nice um, Christmas papers so let's just ink around here just a little bit and then we turn them out and then we can decorate them like that pop that over there so I've got some fabric here so let's have a look what have we got actually that would probably go with that wouldn't it oops lost my scissors there these are lovely little ones I don't know what they're called but they're the ones that are that open are open and then you just cut by that and seem to make it quite easy to cut so, a little bit of fabric tack just glue these down. So, just pop some random pieces that you've got. Oh my gosh. There we go. Pop these on here. This is a sort of like bit of netting stuff on here, which I might pop on there. I think I might just underneath I'm going to sew around these as well just to keep the fabric on but again you don't have to um, these ones I've sewn on here look just to hold them in place like that that one I didn't I just stuck that on the top so I like that that looks nice just need a little bit of fabric Let's have a little bit of this one. Pop this around here. Squish it down. Like that. And then I will have a different piece. What should we have? A little bit of this, I think. Chop this off bit more glue I'm going to have it sort of coming down here just wrinkle it up I'm going to make in my next video I think a few little sort of clusters little fabric clusters because I've got so much bits of fabric and paper I'll try and make some sort of almost to match these I think I think that's enough on that one and then we've got a little one here. What should we put on there? We have a little bit of purple. Just stick this across. So yes, I fancied making another journal. So I want to make some little bits and pieces to go in it. But I want to make it, like I said, with just sort of scraps. Because we all have bits of scrap paper and stuff. So I just wanted to use it all up make something make little embellishments and bits and pieces to go in just stick some little bits on there what else can we have on that one I think we need a little little bit that's lighter just to sort of even it out I quite like the little sort of dingly dangly bits like that so that can go on there so what we will do, let's put the glue on there. I might make a little pocket. because I've got the little ones here. My little tags. So I could have a little pocket there, couldn't I? So let's get a piece of um, paper. Let's have a look what we've got in here. I don't think it really matters. It doesn't have to 
doesn't even have to match. I, think I might even use a nice blue piece. Let's cut a little piece off. Just a tiny piece. Take my scoreboard and just go down like that, just the centimetre or three of these little um, nudgy things. Cut this down. Oh, I hope the I hope the cards go to fit. Oh yes. Don't forget to measure. Make sure everything fits properly. Pop that down like that. And we've got a little pocket there, which I think will stuck up. I'm not going to put anything in that pocket on the top of that, I don't think yet. Let's glue this down. Let's pop a little bit of tacky glue on here. like that. Perfect. Not too much so it oozes everywhere. Just enough to stick that down. That will open up. That fits in there perfect. And then what I might do, let's find, need a little bit of this fabric, where is it? sure I had some more here somewhere. I think this will do. Just a tiny piece. It will tear. Just work it up. Just so it sort of comes half on and half off. Just along here. Stick down. There we go. So isn't that lovely? It looks like a little thing of grapes hanging off there actually. And that would just sit on your page. So what I'm going to do quickly, I'm just going to go across there with my sewing machine and along there and along that one. So I'll be back two seconds. There we go, and they're perfect. So I've just gone through up and backwards and forwards a couple of times with the sewing machine. Um, on there and on there um, and on this one here so I think they look really nice and they store flat so if you just want to put them in a little um, envelope you can do that but I just think they are really really lovely and a good way to um, get rid of some of your fabric and paper now leaving them flat as well you can actually add to them so if you've got something else you want to put on them um, before you put them in your journal or something you can still do it because they're still flat but I'm loving them I think they look really really good loving the little pockets on there so they are so so pretty shall I just do these two as well let's have a look let's find some nice fabric here now this is quite a nice one. Oh look this is the one I've got on here that's really sort of a nice shabby fabric isn't it so I'm just sort of let me go tear a whole length of it like this if I can. It's a really nice shabby piece and it's nice to sort of mix and match um, your papers and fabrics um, which I never used to like doing actually I like to just keep everything sort of like so it went together but as time goes on everything seems to change doesn't it um, and you go from one thing to another, which is great. So I think that looks lovely. I might even stick that one on here. Like that. Scrunch it up. There. Now let's have a piece of this, shall we? Chop that off. Again, you can have, if you've got little dangly bits like this, 
it's not stuck right down you can get a little ball pin and have a little um, dingly dangly as I like to have them hanging off things which I haven't made anything for so long it feels like so I think I shall be making lots of little embellishments and bits and pieces so look at those super simple oh look what's this that's nice this is like sari silk isn't it let's chop a little bit let's wrinkle that up let's just pop a piece on there Look at those. Shall we pop a little pocket on here? What have I got in these little bits of paper? Let's have a look. I could even use a piece of this, couldn't I? Let's see if that would hold a card. I think it probably would, but I don't think I would score so much of it. I think that's going to be too Fat. Chop that little bit off, and then I'm just going to go down two of these instead of three because it's smaller. So let's hope that one will fit. I did tidy my desk, so it is a little bit more room on here. Not that. Um, you would notice with the amount of stuff I have it on it at the moment. So let's just fold these in. Pop that on there like that. There we go. Stick that on here with my tacky glue. So it's amazing what you can make with all your bits of scrap paper and fabric. So let's just stick that onto there nicely. And you've got a lovely little pocket to pop a little card in or a little note in there. I think that looks really nice. You could even do it so they go that way as well, couldn't you? So there we go. Now I need to just sew these. These two, isn't it? So two seconds. There we go. So I have another two little pockets there. So shall I pop something on here? I could even probably take something and make a little... I think I'll make a bow out of that. Maybe we can have a bow out of this one. Just make it a little... A little bow on there. Just a small little fabric bow. Which are so pretty. There we go. Chop that off like that. See Daisy? Which way round? Well, it doesn't matter if it dangles off, I don't think. Oh, don't need that bit. Let's take a little bit of fabric tack. Pop that on there. Oops, stay put. There we go. And then we have a little card to pop in the pocket little bow on there if it's going to stay there we go. perfect so there we go guys they are a few little pockets another idea for you um, super simple super way of making pockets and using up your stash um, and I think they are all really really lovely so nice mix and match of papers and fabrics on here loving this one the little pockets in um, and I think they're great so I'm going to make a few more of these um, and I will see you next time all right guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and I'll see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.